Hi everybody, it's Honest John, and here is another interesting person that I just met. So, introduce yourself. My name is Nick, and uh, I just met you on the street. Uh huh. And you also work in show business, but you are behind the camera. Yeah, I work in post production. Uh, I'm an editor. Work as an editor and assistant editor, uh, mainly in commercial and documentary film. In commercial and documentary films now, uh, like I know they don't edit like they used to, where they used to just actually cut film up and then mm -hmm. tape it together. So, how how does the editing process work that you do? Uh, it's all digital. Um, almost everything is shot digitally now, so you get it either on a hard drive or on memory memory cards, and then you ingest it, transfer it, and convert it to a different format. And then and, and you have like a digital video editor that you use? Then as you're yeah, well, a program. Uh, we use a program called Avid Media Composer, which is... Now, I understand that there are a couple of different processes that they do nowadays that make uh, sh things that sh are shot in, in digital look like film. Are you familiar with that yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, well, um, it depends on the frame rate. Uh, you know, traditional film is 24 frames a second. Uh, like broadcast, like the news and TV is like 30 to 60 frames. So 24 frames gives you that sort of film look. Um, so it has a lot to do with the camera that you're using. I mean, a lot of the high end, like, the Alexa and like the Red, uh, which shoot digitally, um, they produce a really high quality uh, digital image. So basically, uh, a lot of people are going to that just because of the ease of workflow. And you know, shooting on film is so expensive. Uh, so yeah, uh, shooting on film is very expensive. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've actually never actually worked with real film with like film uh, digital, yeah yeah so uh are you do you have any ambitions as far as becoming a producer yourself or a director um, or anything I, like that well actually i've directed uh i'm i have a documentary that i've been making for about three years now that actually is what brought me out to la um but yeah i i have um the interest in continuing to direct uh documentary. I mean, that's that's my main interest. Uh, What's going to be the name of your documentary? It's called The World's Greatest Extra. It's about the uh, the most famous background actor uh, in Hollywood. Oh. And, uh -huh. um, yeah, it's sort of a portrait piece that, you know, follows this guy over multiple years and he gets his big break when he's starring in the Super Bowl commercial and suddenly his life has changed. So it's about kind of like the evolution of Hollywood and the industry and the ups and downs. So. Uh, okay, well, now keep your eye out for the world's most famous extra. World's greatest extra. The world's greatest extra. Keep your eye out for it. When you do, you know that my friend Nick, my new friend Nick, who's a very interesting my friend, person, Thomas John, uh, is, is the one behind it. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you.